Okay, welcome back. Here is our blank Google Reader. Now, what we need to do is fill this reader with some, what is called, very um, excitingly, RSS feeds. What are RSS feeds? Basically, every blog, every news service, uh, almost every site, a major site that you use, Twitter, for example, friend feed, uh, a whole bunch of sites have RSS feeds, which is a way of sharing information and getting information and transmitting it easily. You don't have to worry about all of that. What it is to me and what it will be for you is a way for you to be completely informed about what's going on with your particular niche right across the internet. Plus, to stay up to date with everything that's happening in internet marketing and indeed any other hobby that you like. And I mean totally across it. And you're going to be able to process so much information so beautifully and then be able to leverage that so well, it will blow you away when you see what we can do with this thing in the 30 day challenge. But first, we have a blank page. So there's a couple of things that we need to do. The first thing I want you to do is to just make sure, and you, you'll recall we did this in our flock setup, but let's just double check it. And again, if you're on a PC, you'll go to the tools menu to do this. On uh, the Macintosh, it's the preferences menu. After this, it's the same. And basically what we want to have a look at is this feeds menu here. We're going to click on that. And when I click on a web feed, you want to make sure you've got the radio button on subscribe to the feed using and then Google. Okay, that's what we have to do. And then you can close that off and we're good to go. We are golden. So the next thing I want you to do is check out this dude here and watch the video. Hi, my name is Chris and I'm an hey, engineer Chris. on Google Reader. And we're excited to get to tell you some of the cool things that Google Reader can do. For good you. of them to let the engineers um, out, isn't it? Google Reader is a little like an inbox for the web. That might not make a lot of sense, so let me explain a little. When you have an email inbox, for instance, um, you don't have to check with uh, Larry and with Cheryl and with Sergey to find out if they've sent you email. Um, it just comes into your inbox and you get to read it whenever you want. Uh, Google Reader is a little like that, but so, for anyway, the entire what, internet. What am I doing? You don't uh, need to watch you this. You don't scene. have to go to this side. <laughs> I, was, I was totally enthralled. So go and watch that explanation. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go and find some feeds for you to put in the reader. Okay, let's do that. So the first very obvious one that we must do straight away is to go and I would use your fancy pants toolbar, which hopefully you've installed, is to go to the 30 day challenge blog. Because this is where we do all of our announcements. Now, been to the blog, hope you've been to the blog. But let's look at something cool. And this is why I like flop because it's so obvious. Have a look up here. Can you see this little radar symbol? I can click on this to view the available feeds. So let's do that. Click. There we are. Look, we've got a 30 day challenge feed. How spiffy. Now, all we need to do is click on this. I'm going to love this. Do, 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 do. Ah, look at this. We've got the choice to add to the Google homepage. iGoogle is very cool, but what we want to focus on today is you want to add this to your Google Reader. And we go click. Do, 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 do. Now, uh, your reader shared items are being made available to your friends from Google Talk. You can see what these friends are sharing, they can see what you're sharing, and that you use your reader, your friends will appear once they've logged into Reader. This is going to be so cool for tools. It's not right now. But let me tell you, that is going to be so great for your team. Okay, uh, now I want to skip over this again. Just make sure you read all of these messages and stuff, uh, but follow along with the video because that's going to be important. Okay, what I want to do, and now you'll notice that, for example, the 30 day challenge feed is here. And if I was to scroll along, you can see all our, oops all our announcements. Very cool. Okay, but let's keep going because we need 
we want to show some more stuff, okay? So now let me think of another, we'll just use this page again. Uh, you're gonna love this. Because did you know that twitter.com, or more specifically, twitter.com slash ed underscore dale, if they're up, come on Twitter, come to Papa. Ha ha, here we are. Oh, thank you Ed, very nice. Now, again, let's have a look. What are we looking for? You're right, this little orange icon up here. Look at this. There are actually two feeds available on this page. You can see the Ed Dale feed, which is just me, or you can see Ed Dale and all of my friends, which is the feed I like because you sometimes, like if there's a conversation going on, you get to see both sides of the conversation. But look at that, there's a feed there. So we could click Twitter Ed Dale. So if you go to the Ed and we go add Google Reader, geez, it's hard, isn't it? And look at that, Twitter Ed Dale with friends. How about that? Okay, let's think of what's something else that we can do. Let's, uh, let's get funky. For example, a very cool search engine, which I like, which is surmise.com and we'll go to surmise and this searches Twitter in real time 30 DC or oh, actually DC search let's see what happens wow look at this every time somebody has put the hash 30 DC it's right there how cool is that? And what are we looking for? You're absolutely right. You can see here that the orange feed light is on, which means there's a feed associated with this. How cool is this? So if I click 30 day challenge search in surmise and click boom, like so, add to Google Reader, are you starting to get the flow of this? There we are, 30 day challenge in surmise. Now I wanna go back for a second because I wanna show you something that's, this is a little sneaky added bonus for watching the video, which is why you should always watch the videos. Uh, not that page, one more. Here we are back. Notice this little icon here? There's an installable search engine on this page. What does that mean? Let's see what happens when we click the button. Click. Surmise Twitter search. You betcha. Look what happens when I click this. I click on it. The search engine you selected is now available in Flock's search box. You can search at any time for the search box in the upper right hand corner of Flock. Check this out folks. This is so hot. And this isn't even the best bit yet. Look at this. I can do a search on Surmise Twitter. So if I typed in, and let's, let's make this reality. Um, let's try trout fishing. I can go down and say I want to use surmise to search for trout fishing. Check that out. Every time somebody's mentioned the phrase trout fishing on surmise, I can get it. Now if I'm into trout fishing, I would want to know about this stuff. So for example, I might just go and say, thank you very much, trout fishing. What's your niche? Do you think you might you want to follow that? Now, of course, it gets better again. What happens if we just go to our good dear friends at Google and click search? Now, this search, okay, this search you might notice, hang on, no orange icon. Oh, there's no feed here. That's a shame. However, if we go into our little menu here and we even have to go down further, if we go oop, down here, and you can see very helpfully, it's at the top, and click alerts. This is so huge. Trout fishing. And let's create alert. There we are. There's a Google alert for trout fishing. Let's click on that. 
Ha ha ha, look what we have here. You betcha. Check this out, any news stories that mention trout fishing, bam, straight into, thank you Google News, my feed. I just click add to Google Reader. And there we are, all these trout fishing stories. Okay, you can go crazy here, okay? Now, what I suggest you do first, okay, is make sure, um, and we'll be pointing out feeds to track as we go through the 30-day challenge. I want you to make sure that you've got the 30-day challenge blog in your feed, and this is awesome, because do you understand the power of this? All of a sudden, you're not searching out on the internet everywhere. Everything that's relevant to you for your particular niche is being sucked in to the one spot. Okay, which is cool. And we did blog lines last year, right? Where we taught you how to do this. But that's not the best bit. So what I want you to do first is think about your niche, think about blogs and stuff that you regularly go to, and go and see if they've got this great little orange little feed. Because of course what's funny is people can track your feeds, for example you could track my feed on what sites that I follow because that's all available as well as an RSS feed. It's pretty, it's amazing when you start, anytime you find yourself looking at a site that you go to regularly, just go up there and see if it has a feed attached to it. Because let me tell you, I'm going to change your life in the very next video. So stay with us, and I hope that should be awesome. What's next is more awesome. Uh, see you soon.